This is Epifanio de los Santos Avenue, or what we now call EDSA. And this is just one of the many highways in the country that suffers traffic congestion. But traffic congestion is just the root of what we are dealing with. With high volume vehicles in one area, it's not only traffic that is building up, but also air pollution. So in these kinds of areas, pollution is at peak when heavy traffic is at peak. So we came up with an idea. And true to say, the underground air filtration and ventilation system. Maybe you're wondering, why not trees? Why not just plant trees? Trees can convert carbon dioxide to oxygen alone without water and sunlight. Thus, trees are a very effective supply of oxygen when it's morning, where morning dew forms, and when it's raining. Saving this fact for I will be using it later. Now going back, this project doesn't replace trees at all, but in fact, it even helps trees to cope up with air pollution. The project has four parts. The vacuum, the filtration and purifier system, the turbines, and the ventilation shafts. Now to take Ed as an example, the project will be laid out underneath roads with the vacuums on the surface level spread out at equal distances from each other. Now these vacuums are connected by a ventilation shaft into housing facility where the filtration and purification of air happens. Filtration to filter the air from carbon pollutants, purification to purify the air from airborne diseases. With this said, it is indeed a fresh and renewed clean air when it passes through a multi-layer filtration system. The clean air will be directed out from the shafts and will be pushed by the turbines onto places where people are mostly at. Now let's add the networks. How do we properly monitor this huge project? The project will be separated and divided into areas of concern. An area of concern is basically the zone divisions of the project. An area of concern will be activated if it only needs to be activated with the use of sensors. Two sensors will be in place per area of concern. The first one is for air pollution. If it senses an area of concern is starting to pollute, that area of concern will be turned on and will be functional. If it senses an area of concern is too much air pollution, the vacuums will be automatically set to full power. Now let's move on to the next sensor, the rain and moisture sensor. From its name, it will automatically detect if the rain started to fall or if liquid spills happened on a certain area of concern. And if it did, that area of concern will be turned off and will be covered by sealed lids until the moisture is not any more present. So let's bring back the fact from a while ago. If the system will not function if the air pollution in an area is not that high, especially in the mornings, or if it started raining, then these trees will take over on the filtering position of the environment and vice versa of course. The project is to be created not to replace nature, but to work hand in hand with them, and it's done because of innovation and networks. Hopefully in a few decades, busy highways like Edsa will be cleaner, and hopefully this project will be considered as the next big thing.